Okay, all this leads to one question, and I mean this with the utmost sincerity and all due respect when I ask, what idiot (laughs) decided that allowing JavaScript to run inside a simple two-dimensional vector-based image format would be a good idea? Wait, what? Come on. (laughs) What? You're kidding me. Believe it or not, the SVG scalable vector graphics file format based on XML can host HTML, CSS, and even JavaScript, and it's all by design. So you could put arbitrary JavaScript in an SVG graphics file? Yes. And how does it get triggered? It runs. On by design, oh, it is un- when you open the file, believable. Oh my when God. no, when it's displayed, when, that's what I mean. Yeah, when it's seen. when it's used. Yeah. Oh okay, my. Now-